Oh, thank here you. we're like, oh, there's a cold for that. We're so excited. <laughs> yes, this, this, yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Uh, actually, we've had a little bit of rain. Look how fast it's zooming by uh, this, the leading edge of the front. Now, we already noticed the temperatures changed uh, and dropped in Broward because notice that leading edge of the front has already exit Broward County. It is still moving through southern Dade. So areas in Homestead is still in the 80s compared to the low 70s and even the upper 60s in Broward. So, wow, what a change. Change. Deerfield Beach 72 as well as Coral Springs down to Margate. Pembroke Pines and Miramar, you're sitting at 69 degrees, 71 in Southwest Ranches, also 69 in Miami Garden. So the temperatures are dropping and it's working. That cool air is working its way from north to south. And look at that. Florida City still at 85 because the actual front still hasn't passed through. So the warm air is still there. Now the front has actually passed through the lower keys. So temperatures have also dipped in Key West. This is a look at the temperature change. Now this shows the past 24 hours, so it compares to right now to yesterday at this time, right? And so we're talking about at least a 10 degree change and we're still continually seeing this temperature change as the front swings through. And because the front came early in the day, we hit that high early in the day during the late morning hours. Now we're just gonna continue to cool things down and temperatures will fall as we just saw in the low 70s, mid 70s, 2 p.m. at least for Miami and Miami-Dade area. And then by late afternoon and this evening in the upper 60s and we'll get even cooler as we head into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning being the coolest and you'll need the sweaters. That's for sure. Even tonight, uh, there's some heavy rain exiting Port Miami and some light rainfall exiting Key Biscayne and down into Southern Dade as showers pushing through quickly over Homestead, Florida City, parts of Leisure City and also Homestead Air Force Base. This is a heavy little downpour pushing into Ducky at the moment, but no Notice how quickly it's moving towards the east. So eventually this broken line of showers is going to exit by around 2 p.m. Maybe a lingering straight shower along the coast, but for the most part, most of the rain will end right around 2 p.m. So let's talk about yep. these temperatures uh, for tomorrow morning, waking up 60 degrees in Miami, inland temperatures upper 50s. That is normal for this time of year, actually. It's supposed to get down to 60 in Miami. And tomorrow's high 76 degrees, which is right at normal for this time of year. And then as we continue on for the rest of the week, we're going to see the warm up quickly come back uh, by Thursday, jumping back into those lower 80s for daytime highs. Now overnight lows should still remain in the mid to upper 60s. And also you notice a chance for showers arrives by Friday and through the weekend.